Good evening once again. I'm Stephanie Rule. One week after Donald Trump pleaded not guilty to charges of mishandling classified documents, a federal judge set the date for the start of his trial. Judge Aileen Cannon's order sets August 14th as day one for the trial. That is just eight weeks away, but it is likely to be pushed back because of pretrial motions and complicated rules about using classified documents at a trial. Cannon also ruled the trial and all hearings will take place at her home courthouse in Fort Pierce, Florida. That is north of Trump's Palm Beach home. Meanwhile, there is a major development in the federal investigation involving the current president's son. Prosecutors have reached a plea agreement with Hunter Biden, who's expected to plead guilty to two federal misdemeanor counts of failing to pay his taxes. He also faces a separate firearms charge that will probably be dismissed if certain conditions are met. Two sources tell NBC News U.S. Attorney David Weiss, who was nominated by former President Donald Trump, is likely to recommend probation for the tax violations. But the U.S. attorney did say in a statement the investigation was ongoing. Today, Hunter Biden's lawyer praised the government's handling of the case. I spent many years interfacing with the prosecutors who brought this investigation, and I think they really tried to be fair. I think that they tried to be thorough, tried to look into everything possible. The five-year investigation into the president's son started while Trump was in office and continued under President Biden. But many of the Republicans who have spent years accusing Joe Biden and his son of being corrupt were outraged at the agreement. Donald Trump called it, quote, a sweetheart deal, while his allies in the House said it revealed a so-called double standard. You have one leading opponent of the current president that is now indicted and is supposed to do jail time. You have a president's son that the investigation went on for a very long time um, that now has to do no jail time. The president's son obviously is a, is a person of interest in the investigation. Regardless, we're going to continue to focus on Joe Biden. We're going to continue to follow the money. Of course, in Hunter Biden's case, he pleaded guilty and took a deal. Former President Donald Trump does not want to do that as of now. Today, Joe Biden was asked for his response to the agreement. I'm very proud of my son. Hunter Biden will still have to appear in court where a judge will sign off on the agreement. 